Okay, out of that hole there, two inches deep, looks like a Hornet 22. I think that's a Hornet. It's not old. Yeah, but it's a Hornet bullet. Hornet 22, you can see the shape of it. That's pretty cool. All right, on to the next. Okay, have that hole right there. Yes. It's iron, it rang up really good, but it's iron. Don't know what it is, some kind of clip or something. All right, on to the next one. Out of that hole right there, three inches deep, I know I'm in the right area. There's an old horseshoe nail. Now they used to use these to build shacks and houses with, and when they didn't have the, anything else, they use these. So I know I'm getting into the right area. All right, on to the next. I'm out here and found this old foundation where a building used to set. You can see that it used to be a building in square. And I just found some kind of stud. I think it's horse tack. So I know I'm in the right area for the cavalry. The horseshoe nails are, and studs like this could be the cavalry. All right, on to the next. Surface fine. Can you see it? Yeah, 45 casing. This isn't as old as the other ones that I've been digging, but this is surface fine right on top. All right. On to the next. Out of that hole right there, very old lead bullet. Can't tell what it was. It hit something. You can see the base. It hit something. Ricocheted right off whatever it was shooting at. Okay, and on to the next. Have that hole two inches down, 1996 Roosevelt dime. All right, on to the next one. Now that hole four inches deep, I just dug another one. 100 Wyo, 115th Cavalry, and they are cap badges because there's this nut that holds it onto the hat. Found one with the, the nut on it, still on it. All right, we're finding some stuff today. This makes two of them I found today for the 115th. I have three of them all together. One I found last year. Same area. Same area I found them uh, silver dollars, the shield nickel, the trime, all right here. All right. 